Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I'm back again with another really interesting video. And as you can see on my screen guys, today I have a package named as annotations in my Kotlin project. So today's uh, topic is going to be annotations in Kotlin. And uh, before I start with that guys, very quickly, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications. So first of all guys, we have to understand what is an annotations. So annotation basically guys is a mix data to our code okay now this code could be a class this code could be a function this code could be a parameter it could be an expression basically what we want to do guys is we want to make sure we want uh, to attach some extra information to our uh, coding block just to make it more clear and make sure that it does something which it is supposed to okay so I hope that part is clear to you guys. Now we know that annotation is a object which can add the metadata, but what uh, type of information can we specify in an annotation? So basically guys, these are the four types of information which, which can, we can specify in an annotation. The first thing is called as a target. So basically guys, target means that which type of element I can associate that annotation to. So for example, if I create an annotation and I created that annotation just to be attached to a class. So in that case, I can just make my target specific to annotation target class. If I want that annotation can be attached to classes, functions, properties, everything, then accordingly I can specify multiple targets. Okay. The next thing is called as retention. So by retention, we actually means that whether the annotation has to be stored in the compiled class file or whether it is only visible through reflection at runtime. So basically, we want to make sure that a particular class, a uh, particular annotation, uh, do we want to access it at runtime also? Or do we only want to access it at compile time? So a by default, both are true. So if you do not specify any retention, by default, the annotations are available at runtime also. So using Kotlin's reflection package, you can actually access the annotation at runtime also. And it is also available at compile time. Now, uh, if you only want to specify that it should be at the compile time, you can write the annotation retention dot source or the annotation retention dot runtime but don't worry we'll see that in our coding practice later on next thing is called as a repeatable so repeatable basically means that do we uh, want to use the same annotation on a single element multiple times so if we want that particular annotation to be used multiple times in that case we can give it a repeatable annotation otherwise you can choose to skip it and the last thing is called as a must be documented. Must be documented basically means that the annotation is part of the public API and should be included in the class of method signature. So basically guys, it means that uh, if you give this property in your annotation, then when your class is compiled, then it uh, it shows the signature in the generated API documentation. So whenever your uh, if you are generating the documentation of your class using some API, then the annotation also gets included in that documentation. Okay, so these are the few parameters of annotation class. We are going to uh, go into the details of this in the later part, in the later different uh, videos. But for now, I'm just going to show you two different types of annotations which we can encounter in our general coding practice. So one type of annotations are the annotations which are already there for us, the built-in annotations. So one such example is going to be the annotation called as deprecated. So for example, guys, if I have a class called as phone and in this class, I create a function called as camera. Okay. Now this function camera is just doing anything like printing some statement recording. Okay. That's the only thing it's doing. So if I want uh, that this function is no longer being used, I want to notify the people uh, who are using this class that, okay, this function is no longer being used. It is being replaced by something else. So for example, now there is a new function called uh, smart camera. Okay. 
and this smart camera function not only just records but it also detects the objects uh, inside our video so print ln it says recording and detecting okay so if you want that this camera should be uh, deprecated so you can write deprecated and uh, instead of this function use and uh, write here something called as replace with and give the string as replace with smart camera okay so by doing this uh, guys what we are if anybody is trying to use this function camera he or she is going to get this message that instead of using this function you should use the smart camera function okay let me make it a smart camera function so for example if i use this class in my main dot kotlin file so if i do uh, go to my main function if i try to create a val phone equals to phone and if i try to call the phone dot camera you can see that it comes out as a striked out and even if i call it I will uh, somewhat get this thing that this function is not. Although this works for me, if I hover on it, you can see that it gives me this information that this unit is deprecated. Instead of this function, use replace with smart camera. So if I do smart camera now, this function is no longer deprecated and uh, it will print the some other result. Okay. So that is about the annotations which are built in. So there are multiple such built in annotations guys. The next thing is going to be the annotations which you can create yourself. Okay. So those annotations, how you can create your own annotations, how you can access them using reflection or how you can access them in general. We will see that in the next video guys. Uh, Till then, this is enough. This is just a theory introduction part of annotations. I'll see you guys in the next video, guys. Until then, uh, please keep watching. Do subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell icon for future notifications. Like this video. Share this video with your friends, guys. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, write down in the comment section below. I'm definitely going to answer them. So, thank you so much for watching. See you guys in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.